just to get that for you? Hmm. I wonder. He's like, duh. <laughs> what a scene. What an intro. Wow. Welcome, guys, to the game that started it all. The Mummy. I'm just playing with you guys. This game didn't start shit, but a worse review on YouTube. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, back to part two of Jack O'Connor's The Mummy. Um, so yeah, this is a little interesting game that I picked up a long time ago. Just decided to barely play it now. Um, so that's basically what I'm going to do. Let's play the shit out of this game. Just because a lot of people say this game is shit. Which I'm like, you guys, you guys are pretty right. Um, so you can go around the ruins, you know, look around. It's actually kind of a small place. So this is where we get the machete. And this is a little violent, but this thing, this thing works. It's a, little, it's a little too violent for me, but we're out here shooting fucking mummies. So what's the worst that can happen? I guess, in this case. Uh, let me see. Okay, you want to go in here. So this is part two of the money for the PlayStation. <clears throat> this is part two of the mummy for the PlayStation One here, and this is hosted by your boy RPG fans only show here. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys do, make sure to like, subscribe, and give me some feedback on this Let's Play, and I will make sure to give out uh, some shout outs on part three, depending on you know who hit me up. Um, oh, come on, Jack O'Connor, stop doing some goofy shit, you silly goose. Okay, so here's some secrets right here. <clears throat> Most people would have probably hopped on there and just been like, well, this is just a retarded platform for no reason. But uh, it does have a purpose. Jump down here. Turn around this corner. Jump down here. Engage in some combat. Before we jump down there, though, get all these goods and a famous quote is about to come up right about to now so I hope you guys enjoy hey solid gold, hey, gold. has to be the cheesiest line since the 80s when cheesy lines were readily available <laughs> oh oh back up back up go Head ass. I almost, I almost got, I almost died. I'm just gonna act like he doesn't, I'm just gonna act like he doesn't see me. Ah. Bitch, you don't stop blocking. Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, so you might be stuck right here confused like, oh, what the hell? What what do we do? What do we do we do? Yeah, there's got to be a switch around here, but unfortunately, there is no switch. There is only floating tiles that come out of nowhere and shit. Um, <clears throat> so what you want to do is these statues right here, they stick out. So you want to push those in, one and then two. But before we do that, we're going to go over here in between these two statues and grab some more secrets. Um, bam, bam. Secret treasure all day. Bam, bam. And these will give you extra life and uh, extra health. So we want to push these. And magic floating diamonds appear. 
I don't know what that is. I can't tell if that's a tile. It looks like a fucking Minecraft block, if you ask me. Back before Minecraft was a bit readily available, they had the mummy. On some Tomb Raider shit. I like how O'Connor just kind of warps to doors. Like, he doesn't even actually ob obey the physics of law. The law of physics! Oh, I forgot about this. Go, motherfucker. Okay. Put that shit out. Do this. Take out the machete. Let's give it a little swing. Or let's try to give it a little swing. I might end up missing. Uh. Uh. Yeah, enemies in this game are are stupid. Clearly. Yeah, that's a canteen. I can't explain what all of these treasures and shit do. But what I can tell you is that they are useful. I got eight bombs. I think I should start using those. There you are. I was like, I hear you, motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Don't run up on me with that uh, shit, bitch. <laughs> we not scary out here. We keep the flame on the nigga. All right, let's pull out the let's pull out this dual action. Let's start capping. These mummies be uh, out here getting a nigga scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm kind of shooken up after that. I knew they were coming out. I could hear them. But I got a little bit frightened. Okay. I'm gonna wait for the spikes one more time. Alright, I'm gonna grab that. Get the fuck off me, bro. Who you think you is running up on me like that? That is a no no. Make sure I didn't. Okay. These guys are kind of retarded. It really kills the fun of killing enemies. Um, so I need to start using... I'm running out of bullets here. This is why I didn't want to... How? How? Bruh. Checkpoints in this game are like far and wide as well. That's, a, that's another annoying factor about this game. They send you all the way the fuck back. Like a whole stage. Um, I'm actually going to check. Do I still have... Okay, I still have some bullets left in my gun. But it's not enough. So I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go and fight instead. How did a bug catch me off guard? Bitch, die. Wow. How do I take so much damage, though? In what city? Oh, this is not the right level. A bro meant to put save game.
There you go. So it automatically saves for you. Because I was about to say that is some bull shit. Absolutely. Now we got to do this shit all over again. I don't understand how the fuck in the world. Bro lost that much health. Alright. Go up here, get these treasures again. Bitch, who gonna be sorry? Me or you? Cause you looking pretty dusty right about now. <laughs> your man's, your man's is dusty. Get this nigga a napkin. Hey, solid go. Dumbass. Stay down for me, please. <laughs> See, this is why I don't like using physical weapons, because you kind of have to trick the enemy into... Uh, Basically wanting to come near you so you can beat their asses to death. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying right now. Sometimes my language barrier just, just falters. I'd just be talking gibberish and shit. If Jack, 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 Jack. Thank you. Gosh. I haven't seen this bad platforming since Bubsy. And oh man, don't get me started on that shit. That's a game that I will weather die than play. You got me all the way fucked up. Not even for a review. I'm not touching that game for sheet. Alright. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and grab that. I swear once Jack O'Connor runs, he just becomes retarded. He stiffens up and he just, yeah. Alright, so... We're going to go ahead and make this slight turn because we're going to have to run. All right. The, that's just too close for comfort. That is just too close. Bitch. Where's that little insect at? Might make this jump. On some goofy shit, I made that. <laughs> I, I've never made that jump before. I'm not going to lie to you. So glad I did, though. That extra ammo is sounding mighty nice right about now. Bitch, you don't get off me. I double tap that ass real quick. So there were no hieroglyphs to light up. Apparently. This is the worst impression of a tomb I've ever seen. Like, what is this? That shit is graphically retarded. <laughs> 
You should have just stepped. Should have just. Just do just, me just, just, just be just, just do. Just be retarded sometimes, bro. I just can't fucking speak for the life of me. Dude, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. I could I could have lit that. I could have lit that. They got me last time right here, so I'm not I'm not on that bullshit this time. Brodies can't prepare today. You know what? On some goofy shit, I'm about to just start using this. These are one hit kills, so I don't see why I haven't really been using them before. This game is legitimate, boring, but come on, guys. It's, it's been a while since I've played any type of game like this. And that was uh, an impossible jump. And there's, uh, another thing about this game is like there's really no music or sound. So it does give you like a little heavy atmosphere. So when the mummies do pop out sometimes, they do kind of give me chills. No lie. I thought I hit him. Apparently I hit the wall on some stupid shit. And I'm about to die already. They just don't give you enough health. And I'm playing this on possibly one of the easiest modes, too. <laughs> yeah, you can. You could choose to jump over it and you'll most likely make it. But uh, I, I just want to look cool for five seconds, so... I like how O'Connor fights like a fucking G. He's like, uh, uh. Stiff ass hands, but still put in work. On some funny shit, I just be making some of the un the luckiest jumps in gaming history. My shit is just comedy. Uh, I'm thankful for the no fall damage. I'm scared to go down here, like as f oh. Damn, I don't know how the hell. Nah, I didn't think that would work either. For all consultation, I could care less. Missing one hieroglyph won't change the game. Not in the slightest. And I wish it would. 
Sometimes these controls be just making me want to change my whole outlook on life. Oh, okay. Okay. Fuck! Always catch me off guard, bro. Always catching me slipping. In the worst ways. Grab this real quick. So yeah, this video might be longer than part one. Um, I have no idea why this level is giving me so much trouble. This is actually one of the easier levels in the game. But you couldn't tell. You couldn't tell. Got him. So we gotta do this shit all over again. Oh, son of a bitch. O'Connor, you are just awful. It's partially due because I just be inputting some bad inputs, but still, you are just awful in general. How the fuck do you walk back so... Come on, jump for me, please. Thank yous. Thank yous. Thank yous very much. Do something properly for once, if that makes sense. You kidding me? The ledge is right there. Gosh, inputs in this game could have been better. Hit detection in this game could have been better. On some goofy shit, watch me make this jump again. Got him. Something tells me the only way to get up here is to literally hang by this edge. But uh, I don't think that'll work either. Try to catch me slipping, I told him, look, you tripping. I gotta hit him with that bomb from distance. Ooh. That's exactly what I did, and that's the truth. I should probably be the next Drake. <laughs> Just off of those five words. You know, these dynamite sticks are actually the least weapon you're going to be using in the game because they're just so unreliable having to wait you really have to trap enemies and just just like i did earlier you got to be smart when you use those because you can fuck around and blow your own self up literally i think i need to start being conservative with my ammo
Okay. Make sure. Okay, so. <gasps> Weird. So I'll grab this and then uh, go up here. Pull this out. Wow! This game is fucking ridiculous. Really. The cheapest of the cheapest shots are being thrown in, in this game. It's 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 not even funny. That's that's the worst part. Is that it's not even it's not even funny. I almost forgot about this. Sometimes I feel like I'm playing Doom with all these damn secrets. So this is going to be the longest part two ever. Um, part three will probably be a little bit shorter. I'll make sure to complete the level before. Because to be honest... I gotta got be forgetting about shit. It's been a while since I played this game. <laughs> Speaking in riddles and shit. You don't just jump backwards and just. Fuck, Connor, you're just useless sometimes. Okay, let's hop up on here. Go through here. So we know we're about to get set up. He's just so slow reacting to shit. Come on, bro. You gotta move faster than that. Oh my god, line up. Thank you. Alright, so we opened up that door. Which opens up a stage platform for the key. Which then again opens up that door. I honestly can't wait for this level to be over um, so I can start level 3. Level 3 happens to be my favorite level in this game. For, for, I, I have no reason to like that to like that level. I it just it resonates with me in a certain way. Okay, something bad happens right here. I have to remember what, though. I told you that shit can kill you. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'll just complete this level, and then when I get back to part three, um, uh, we'll just, yeah. See you guys till next time. <laughs>